Tell us from your experience, what's the best way to grow capital? Oh, that's a great question. So look, there's, there is an absolute learning curve, right? So when I was doing single family buy, fix and flip, um, you know, attracting an investor, first of all, who understood the business was critically important. So you could do that through show and tell. This is what we paid for it. This is what we did to it. This is how much we made. And this is what our private lender made on it. Protected, secured, and insured. 8% interest, interest only, blah, blah, blah. You know the pitch, right? And that becomes a word of mouth. So, you know, my, my portfolio attracted that retail investor. Um, I'm not going to lie, Jay. I'm going to be truly transparent. It can be hard work. It could be heavy lifting sometimes with the retail investor. Uh, we use the term of, if it feels like I'm pushing a donkey up a hill, then I got to stop doing it, right? So how do I get attraction? How do I get motion, uh, repetitive actions? It's by being successful. The very first private loan I took was $35,000 from a uh, lieutenant at the fire department. And I said to him, Mikey, give me 35 grand. I'm going to put you in a third lien position on this property. I said, but I'm going to give you your 35 grand back in three weeks plus an additional 5,000. I knew I could do it because the property was under contract. We just needed this money to squeeze through to the finish line. So I give him his money back in two weeks and he's ecstatic. And he said to me that day, he said, dude, that was a great deal. I said, thanks, LT. I appreciate it. He said, if you ever, magic words, if you ever need money again, you come to me first. And if I don't have it, I know somebody who does. And what he was referring to was his father, because his father was a retired chief. So, you know, the first one is always the toughest one. But once you've got traction underneath that, it becomes a system. It becomes repetitive and it creates its own motion. Today, I mean, I'm in a different sandbox altogether. Today, I, uh, I attract capital through the portfolio. I attract capital through um, family offices, institutional capital. How how'd you like this for a problem, Jenny? You ready? I have 18 months to put together a half a billion dollar portfolio because I've got an arbitrage trust company that's ready to take it out at a full cap on the buy side and an eight and a half, nine percent cash on cash return. So there's a guy waving a half a billion dollar check in my face. And he's like, go find me the real estate. Let's go. Right. <laughs> so, you know. It's, uh, it's, it's interesting because the first guy that, that I learned commercial from uh, was a very, very cool gentleman. His name's Dave Lindahl. He's in Massachusetts. Yeah, Dave's, a, said, Dave's, a, good, Dave's a good friend of mine. Okay. So, so DL said to me, he said, Dave, he said, it's just zeros. More zeros on the way in, more zeros on the way out. Just run the deal the same way. And I never forgot that. So, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's how we raise money today, man. That's awesome. Attraction. Um, I'm a big believer. Um, well, for, before I get to my next question, mm -hmm. 